welcome to What Really Matters. Tonight we're going to be talking with Dr. Brenda Grubb and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the COVID-19 vaccination and why it's important that we all should get it. And she's going to share some information with us tonight. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Dr. Grubb, and let's get into this. And we're just going to have a brief discussion. This is our first live show tonight. And uh, we welcome any of your comments. Oh, hello. Thanks for having me on, um, Beverly. Uh, just to tell you a little bit about myself, I was a researcher at the National Institutes of Health for um, about 10 years. And um, when I hear Dr. Fauci talking about the vaccination, um, I trust the research. I trust the science because um, it's not that the coronavirus is something new that they just started working on last year. This virus has been around for many years, but it is this new strain that caused the, um, the COVID disease in 2019. It's also a SARS virus. You all may have heard of SARS viruses in the past. It's a, this is a SARS-2 virus that caused the COVID-19. And so I just wanted to give you all an encouraging word about actually taking vaccinations in general. If you want to go to that, um, just a little bit about vaccinations. Okay. Uh, is there something that you want to share with us? Yeah, I just wanted to just sort of remind people how important it is to get vaccinated. Um, we got vaccinated for the measles. We've been vaccinated for chicken pox. So for many years, we've, we, we've known that it's important to get vaccinated because if you travel around the world, people could carry these viruses from one place to the other and unvaccinated travelers could actually spread these diseases. So it's really important that we get vaccinated. Um, it happens every year that people are put at risk if they're not vaccinated. So um, especially it puts um, young children at risk. This is why over the years, we always make sure that the young children um, as well as the elderly um, are protected. So I wanna encourage everyone to make sure that you get vaccinated because you're not just protecting yourself and your family, but you're protecting your community. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That was some very interesting information. Um, we're going to be following up and we'll be talking to uh, some people in the future to see how this has affected them, uh, some caregivers, and uh, possibly talk to some people that can let us know where vaccinations are happening in our neighborhood, in our area. And I know that it's starting with those that are over 65 right now, as far as where I'm at in Duplin County. And then I think it goes to the uh, caregivers or the central workers. But um, I appreciate you uh, speaking to us about this. If you could tell us, um, my curiosity comes, what is the difference between this versus the flu vaccination, where I think that you actually are uh, injected with possibly part of the actual virus? So what I'm, I'm, I'm kind of well, with the flu vaccines, they do have a version that's an attenuated vi virus where it's a kill virus. But the thing that you have to understand with vaccinations is, even with something like the flu virus, they, they have the protein coat that your body recognizes as something foreign. So your body mounts an immune response and makes antibodies against it. Um, with the with this new vaccination against COVID-19, it's actually um, an RNA type of vaccination. So there's no virus present. They just put the information that your body can interpret as being um, encoding for a foreign protein so that your body can mount an immune response to it. So it's not going to make you sick. It's not going to include any of the virus, but it has information that allows your body to react and protect you if you were exposed to the virus. But there's something that you need to remember, even if you get vaccinated, um, it will protect you from getting sick, but it doesn't mean you can't still maybe uh, be carrying a virus or be contagious. So 
you might not get sick if your body is in the process of mounting an immune response so that you're protected. But you want to continue to wear your mask, wash your hands and keep your distance so that you don't put anyone else at risk. OK, thank you so very much, Dr. Grubb. Uh, we appreciate that bit of information and we will probably be calling you on you again in the future. But we appreciate your time and your information, and hopefully that has been helpful to someone. And I hope that uh, you all, our audience, we will be recording this so we can go on for a later broadcasting. And you can leave your comments below, and we will be addressing the comments and the questions that you may have, because we know this is something that's ongoing and in our community, knowledge is power. So I appreciate you for watching, and I hope that you come back again. Thank you again, Dr. Grubb. We appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.